Camp 768, Sons of Confederate Veterans. I want to welcome everyone here uh, to the, our Confederate Memorial Day program, Memorial Day program. Uh, thank you for coming out on this day. We'll try to get you out of the cold just as quick as we can. Um, but again, I, I want to welcome everybody so we can remember our ancestors and uh, the, the folks that uh, died to get us here. So uh, if we could, I, I, my, my chaplain's not here. Uh, Father God, we thank you for this day. Uh, on this occasion, Father, we gather in memory of our ancestors uh, that fought and died for our country. And uh, we, we thank you for that heritage, Father. We thank you for their sacrifice. Uh, we thank you for uh, everything that they went through and put into uh, serving their country, the CSA. strangers who in the baptism of our soil with their heroic blood have honored us, lest we forget. And I, I, I like that. You know, I don't know. And on the back, there's a list of names <coughs> and uh, of soldiers as well. There's a monument at the base of it. You can look at it here in a little bit if you like. Um, and then, of course, we're in here at Confederate Circle. Uh, the names of uh, more than 50, I think, there are here just to circle alone. Uh, Soldiers who died here in the area and are buried here in the Federal Circle. And then, of course, here at the City Cemetery, uh, there's some more than 150 uh, dead buried here in the Circle of all forces of the United States. Uh, at this time, I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Teresa Todd to come and bring a few remarks as part of a moment.
members of our audience here to say a few words about their ancestors and why they're here. Uh, for me, uh, my, I call it my primary uh, soldier, the one who, who, under whom I joined his service, uh, allowed me to join the Sons of Confederate Veterans, was uh, James Wesley Long, my third great grandfather. Uh, served for a brief period of time in 1862 with uh, Company E of the 34th Army. Uh, and then I have a couple others that I've discovered over the years who served in North Carolina. And, uh,
did it twice.
Oh, let me say one other thing, Jim. Just excuse me. John P. Tilton, the Spirit in the Circle, is also from Perry County, Tennessee. It runs the 21st Tennessee Cavalry. Right after that battle here in Athens, 1864, where he was killed, that company merged with the 22nd. So, in all of his records today, he gets the archives in Nashville, Tennessee, they don't know what happened to him. So, you know. It, it looks like he's ready in this place. But he's very happy. Sorry about you, Jim. No problem. No problem. Is that better? Yes. Yeah. Uh, my ancestor, don't have much information about it, but my ancestor is uh, Claude Garfield Clarkhurst. And he's buried in, uh, let's see, Louisiana. I can't think of it. Lux. Lux, Mississippi. Okay, thank you.
brought to you, brought to us this morning, uh, Don Stanford. Donnie brought this poem to us and we thought it was uh, fitting and, and appropriate for this occasion. It's entitled Dear Ancestors. Your tombstone stands among the rest, neglected and alone. The name and date are chiseled out on polished marble stone. It reaches out to all who care. It's too late to mourn. You did not know that I exist and died when I was born. Yet each of us are cells of you, flesh and blood and bone. Our blood contracts and beats a pulse entirely not our own. Dear Ancestor, the place you filled 100 years ago spreads out among the ones you left who would have loved you so. I wonder how you lived and loved. I wonder if you knew that someday I would find this spot and come to visit you. It was written by Walter Butler Paul. So, um, I want to thank all of you for um, Remembering your ancestors with those kind words. And at this time uh, in our program, I'd like to invite the ladies at the Johnson Chapter to the seats to make a brief Thank you. Old times there are not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland, in Dixieland, where I was born early on frosty morning. Look away, look away, look away, look away Dixieland, and I wish I was in Dixie. Away, away, in Dixieland I'll take my stand to live and die in Dixie. Away. Away, away down south in Dixie. Away, away, away down south in Dixie. My second voice is
not what it used to be. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate you coming out. And uh, we'll try to get one up. My prison, uh, no, for a long time we got those flags and we have a stack of money that we just played with the numbers and all that. We got one point down on the front of the